Well, let's head into Shanghai. Oh. We have a another map within Shanghai. Let's go to Huaiwan, Hua, Hua, I think. The the arrow is covering up a part of the letter and also the font is weird, so Yeah, Huaiwan. Huaiwan, okay. The font's a little weird. Fifteen years ago, 1889, Shanghai. Oh, hey. Ah, oh, really? I really made a mess of this, didn't I? <laughs> what a surprise, Master Zhu Zhen. Forgot what voice I gave him last time. So I'll just make it up as I go, all, go along like usual. <laughs> An adept of the highest rank, Fawn. <laughs> you really didn't think you'd, we'd let you get away, did ya? A little fly like you always flitting about, causing trouble for Master Dehuai. No, sir. You know what happens to flies, old man? They get squashed. Come on, just set them on a fire. <laughs> You're a fine bunch. Attaching yourself to the infamous Dei Hui and calling him master. If you wanted a master, you'd have been better off declaring loyalty to one of the many street one of the mangy street dogs. Ha <laughs> scum! After that torture session, it's amazing you have any energy left to oppose the master's teachings. Of course, a maggot like you can't really be expected to comprehend the greatness of Master Day. Why? Greatness, you say? That's a good one. <laughs> that's a real side splitter. I think I'm gonna die laughing. I mean, you know, that's a good way to go out. <laughs> Enough. Shut up, you man. Lord Wu Gui, let's kill him and be done with it. Still, there's one thing I do not understand. Why do you oppose the Demon Gate Invocation? I mean, you know, the whole thing about destroying the world is kind of a downer. And just, just throwing that out there. As a possibility of why some people might not be into the plan. I know, crazy, right? Our continent has been hacked to pieces, lacking military might. There is one path to salvation. Destroy it all? <laughs> Our country is being destroyed. No. I'm going to destroy it first. <laughs> I mean, it's not the first thing I would go for as a solution. It's just saying. Demon's Gate Invocation. If we can destroy Japan, we'll send a clear and firm message to the West. But from what I can tell, it's not going to just destroy Japan. It's going to destroy everything else as well. I mean, yes, technically Japan will be destroyed, but so will you. <laughs> Maybe he just doesn't know that part. Give him the benefit of the doubt. I know it's difficult, but... Do you know of any other way to maintain peace on this continent? I mean, I'm just saying uh, bringing out giant god weapons <laughs> or whatever it is this does. To destroy other continents probably isn't a good way to bring peace. It might make other people, even if even if this goes the way he wants and only Japan is destroyed, I'm guessing everyone else, like all the rest of Europe and America and all the other continents of the world, they might look at you and be like, hey, these people are kind of dangerous. Maybe we should take them out. <laughs> Just, just on, on many levels, this isn't a great plan. Destroy Japan, one shot to the west. You're a fool. That's not what a Demon Gate invocation is about. Sure, like it says, it might be easy to blast Japan out of the water, but 
Just one misstep and you could wind up blowing the entire world into oblivion. Shut up. As if you know. I'm guessing he knows more than you do, underling. <laughs> Blah. I could stand here all day explaining to you. You'll never understand. Unless it seems our conversation has now come to an end. Allow us to aid you on your trip to hell. Hold it right there. Hey, it's Hyuga. I believe is his name. Who are you? This ain't no show. Get out of here before you get hurt. Colin, Carl, Colonel. Colonel. Hyuga. Seems the streets of Shanghai have become considerably more dangerous than I remember them. You're Japanese, aren't you? But, but out, buddy, or I can't guarantee you'll get out of this alive. <laughs> I'm guessing Hyuga is not that weak. I'm guessing he could kick all of their asses. Wait, these people have nothing to do with this. Sir, gentlemen from Japan, please be on your way. There's no sense in you getting hurt, too. He's right. It would be wise not to meddle in things that don't concern you. No good will come out of opposing us. I'm sorry, but I heard you were in league with Dehuai. I simply cannot ignore you. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, that is of little importance to those who are about to die. <laughs> what an amusing joke. All right, fool. We'll see who's about to die. For boss time? <laughs> okay, he's on the loose turned into cappers. Sure, why not? I love this battle setting, though. Just the, like a rainy, grayscale city. Also, we're playing as Hayuga. Okay. Chernobog. <laughs> should I? Should I? Do we have access to items? Seventh key. Max seven sweeps of indicators. I believe that lets you attack seven times in a row, which is pretty cool. And I believe his attack animation is identical to Yuri, since, you know, he's, he's Yuri's dad, so I guess they just do the same thing, sure. But Chernobog is different. I think Yuri can learn this, but it's like the highest tier darkness uh, fusion, so we won't be getting it until the end game, I think. Let's try it out. He can handle the transformation better than Yuri. Oh, it just looks like Dark Messenger anyway. <laughs> he handles the uh, fusion better than Yuri, because if you remember with Yuri's animation, it's like he has a migraine every time he does it. And he's like screaming in pain as he transforms. But Hugo's just like, eh. Uh, takes away target's MP, raises ally special attack, or attack all enemies with a living deadly darkness. Yes, I think I shall. Ooh, that's a tricky one. Oh, it healed him. Okay. Well, we can just attack him instead, shall we? Are you gonna fight back, or are you just gonna let me murder you? Okay, that works. <clears throat> What are you? A demon? Eh, technically. Although, <laughs> to be fair, so were your underlings. Did you see them? <laughs> I've changed my mind. I will not kill you. Run back to your master and tell him this. A man has appeared who is coming for you. Until he arrives, live out your remaining days in fear. <sighs> you will regret those words. 
and he could teleport. Okay. Are you all right, old sir? Mr. Zhen. I don't know if we met him yet. I don't remember. <sighs> I'll be all right. <sighs> Not to sound ungrateful for your help, but uh, I don't exactly consider myself so old yet. <laughs> oh. I'm Zhang Yun Jian, and this is, this is Colonel Ben Hayuga. Thank you for coming to my rescue. My name is Zhu Zhen. I'm an adept. It appears so. Uh, exactly what sort of person are you? The fusion technique. I heard about it a long time ago, but I never expected to see it for myself. <laughs> How amusing to hear that a friend... To hear that fiend call you a demon. Talk about the, the, the pot and the kettle or something. Something. <laughs> Ugh. Please, Eugen, relax. Your wounds may be worse than you think. Damn, if I weren't in such a state, I'd have made short work of those bastards. Ugh. Ow. <laughs> it's clear your injuries haven't affected your, that mouth of yours. The shop I run is just down the way. Come with us and I'll treat your wounds. Oh, there's no need for that. I'm feeling much better already. Much better. <laughs> Come, Master Zhuzhen. I will carry you there. Well, Hyuga seems nice. And that was the first time I met the man. Next thing I knew, he was carrying me piggyback. I could feel my face burning red. He was an incredible man. And handsome to boot. So and so that he had me swooning. Ha! <laughs> Goodness. Was he really that strong? He must have been amazing. And he had fusion powers. Just like... Y you don't think he could be Yuri's? You guessed it. You're not going to find too many people in this world who can wield fusion. But I just can't make up my mind to tell the kid. No, I guess I'm too much of a coward. And then what happened to Colonel Hugh after that? Hmm. It's hard to believe that was 15 years ago. Time sure does fly. The city's completely changed too. I feel like I've been left behind to grow old and decrepit. Fusion, what are you saying? You're still plenty young. No. <laughs> actually, I don't, I don't actually know. <laughs> I've been acting as if he's like 80 or something. But his portrait doesn't actually look that old. <laughs> it's nice of you to say that. You're a sweet girl. I don't actually know how old he is. I wonder if his profile says in the uh, database thing. You sure has been sleeping for a long time. And here we are in Shanghai and everything. <laughs> He's probably sleeping off the effects of his seasickness. Everyone's got their weaknesses. Well then, I guess maybe I'll be going out for a while. After all these years, I feel like wandering around a bit. Maybe stopping by an old friend's place. <laughs> all right. I don't expect to be out all that late. Bye. We're playing as Yuzhen. Cool. Okay. Well, let's check that, shall I? Um, library? NPC. Yeah, he'll go through all the NPCs we've met. It does not show their ages, though. Wondering Meiwan, Kawashima. Damn, I can get a good look at their model, though, at least. And look at that hand. Creepy. Hmm. <laughs> Plans on turning Shanghai into a city of demons. Puppy! <laughs> uh, the main character. 
The main character's mother. It's a weird way of phrasing that, isn't it? I don't know why they just didn't just say Yuri's mother. It could be that that's a limitation in the... We get a bit technical here. A limitation in the text uh, system they use for this, where they can't get the uh, actor's name. Actor being the... Uh, the character. They can't get the character's name and actually insert it into this text. So they just have to use a generic uh, term for it. Next, he doesn't mention Alice. Yeah. Yeah, even he doesn't. His thing doesn't mention Alice. See, so yeah, I wonder if they just have a limitation in the in the text system where they couldn't figure out how to get the characters names inserted into it well no because it's got young Yuri here so hmm I don't know it's weird could be a translation thing I suppose as well see you mother Lily God, she's creepy. Carto. He takes great interest in the world of dark magic during this mission. Remember him for the sequel. He'll be quite an important character. Wugui. Former employee of Jen's bar. See, we get some information in here that we didn't get in the um, dialogue yet. So he worked for Jen at some point, which is the guy that was with Hyuga in that last cutscene. I guess he decided to join Daehui. And here's Jen, a hero who fought against Daehui 15 years ago. He still remembers his old colleague Hyuga. His health has declined since he gave up his bar. What a shame. Oh, the main characters are not in this list at all. Also, yes, you do have to go through each character individually. There isn't, as far as I can tell, there isn't like a list or anything you can go through. Anyway. Yeah, we don't have a pedometer on us. That's on Yuri. Would you like a rest? Nah, we're good. I said no, I'm good. How are you doing, Margie? How are you going out? Yeah, I thought I'd go kill some time. By the way, you haven't seen our two smuggler friends, have you? They both left a little while ago. Seems they had someone to meet. More shady business, I'd guess. But what a metropolis Shanghai is. I just went and had a look. It's nothing like Feng Chan or Dalian. Understandably. Let's have a little look around, I suppose. Early to rise, Asan. A travelling oracle! You don't see many of those. If you come to train under Master Dehuai, how diligent! Not exactly. Hasty Kawa. Yikes. I better fold up shop and get out of town before the Japanese army gets here. Good for you. Entertainment show? Is that what I said? Okay. We've been waiting for you, Lieutenant Colonel Kawashima. Oh, it's been a while, Lieutenant Suketani. At ease, please. Mom, how are we doing on the package for the mainland? The special charter is ready. Presumably they're talking about uh, taking Alice there. Yes, about that. I was thinking we might postpone it for a bit. Understood. Then I'll relay a message to the mainland. Is that acceptable? Yes, please do. Lieutenant Sukutani. How is the investigation coming along? Yes, ma'am. 
We managed to get our probes rather deep inside. That's what she said. Whisper, 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 whisper. Ah yes, I forgot to introduce you, Sugatani. This is Sergeant Kato. You may talk in front of him. Is that right? Then you must excuse me, Sergeant. My apologies. Oh, he wasn't whispering to him. He was threatening him. <laughs> or staring at him very closely. <laughs> I don't know. Military things, I suppose. An agent of the investigation committee recently arrived from Tokyo. Even I was cross-examined. It seems it is you who are under investigation, ma'am. You're safe with me, but please stay alert. I'm being investigated. Ugh, it must be a spy sent by one of my father's political enemies. The capital is a pit of schemes. I'll be careful. Please continue with what you were saying before. Yes. Dehua, who is fighting against our Japanese army, is planning a Demon's Gate invocation. Yeah, we know that much. But he still needs a few more things to cast the Taoist magic needed for the invocation. One being Alice. A few more things? A catalyst is necessary for the main part of the ceremony, and that will be the English girl. Dehoi must also banish the four gods that block the ceremony by protecting the earthly veins. So that would be the, um, the gods of the four corners. He's already, as far as we know, he's already got two of those and replaced them with his Yamarajas. We don't actually know if he's got the other two yet. Presumably he has, but I don't know. It appears that all of these factors must be in place to make this ceremony possible. In the past six months, Dehua has collected the Black Taurus, the Blue Dragon, and the Red Phoenix. So we've seen the Black Taurus, that was the, uh, the cat village. Blue Dragon was Dalian? Yeah, the one we were just at. We haven't seen the Red Phoenix yet, though, I don't think. And there's also the fourth one, which apparently Dehuai doesn't have yet. So yay! He doesn't have all of them yet. So the only one left is the White Tiger, then. And where is the White Tiger? Do you know yet? It's in Wuhan. <laughs> <gasps> Wuhan, eh? I forgot that that was in this game. <laughs> Uh, more precisely, it's sealed inside the temple ruins on the edge of Wuhan. It's always fun when a game is set in the real world and then things happen in the real world. <laughs> in those particular areas. So there's a little fun little reference. Be careful of the bats there. <laughs> of course, Dei Huan knows this. And before it falls into his hands, we must send troops to seize it. We've sent forces there twice, but, however, every last man was lost, not a single survivor. Some terribly powerful monsters have made a nest out of those temple ruins. Those monsters protecting the white tiger? I wonder why they picked such a terrible spot. I don't know, but apparently Dehuai isn't able to handle them either. Really? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm good, but I... Didn't think Dehua would have trouble with uh, monsters, considering how powerful he's supposed to be. What is it, Lieutenant Colonel? I've just had an idea. Uh, an idea? We fight fire with fire. We defeat the monsters with a monster. She's going to trick Yuri into going there. Although, I don't, I don't know why she would. Because it seems like it's safe there as it is. I, I, I don't know why she wants Yuri to go there. I suppose we'll find out.